Welcome to Dice Junkies, and this is an RPG Crate unboxing for May, and I'm here with Q, and I'm Xenodamus. Hope you enjoy. All right, so this is uh, May, so let's, uh, let's see what we got in here. I have to admit, I never know what we're going to get. I'm curious what this theme's going to be. <laughs> you know, I actually saw the theme on the uh, RPG Crate uh, Facebook. You should stop cheating like that. And dude. then I forgot what it was. Like, okay. so <laughs> Can't go ruining a surprise like that, man. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's see. It is 5th uh, Edition Foes. Okay. <clears throat> that's that's not anything like I thought I remembered it being. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, I thought it was something just, to do foes, but I didn't realize it was fifth edition. Well, they foes. just had the Mordekainen's Tome of Foes. Yeah. So that probably is a uh, they're going with the same theme. Yeah. Well, it was a pretty awesome book. Hmm? Oh no, Mordekainen's was. So yeah, so uh, this one is fifth edition foes, and uh, let's let's check out see what we got in here. My hands right there. Yeah, and I put the card right <laughs> down there, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they did it. But you were, I used to work in the service industry. I remember that. It's like, hey, thank you. Oh, oh, I guess you don't want to touch me. <laughs> Generally, no. Well, I'm all right with that, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not into uh, Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. All right. So here's our shirt. Oh, okay. Killer bees. Yeah. Wait, it is. Those bees have hands. They have hands. Oh, that is man. not a bee. That is something else. What is that? I, don't know. I mean, you got the card. You have the card, so. They come midday, hidden by the glare of the noon sun, and when the thunder of their wings fades, the only thing left to be done is more. Yeah. Clean speeches portal. So, no, I don't. I still don't know. Yeah. So, so would that be uh, the, the, the bees-ness? <laughs> They're obviously from another plane, so I'm going with the Mordecai style. These are probably evil planar bees. Uh -huh. Then we've got the uh, Evan Cool Miniatures. Uh, Those are oh, now that I know that is well. Hold on, I think that's a Zill or is it a three can? It's one of the other. Uh, I think it's a three can. Nope. No, is it a Zill? It should be a Zill. Let me see if I was right. Yeah, you check it out. Dragon Killer Tuscali Wasp Warrior. No, I'm wrong. It's, it's a, a Wasp Warrior. Uh, okay. A Tuscoli Wasp Warrior. Look at that. I did not even know there was a Wasp Warrior. I thought it was a Zill. Yeah. So oh, you... Artwork. There's actually a picture on the back here, too. Okay, Mr. Wasp Warrior. Huh. Ah, the picture doesn't have him with arms. Yeah, and then he's got a thorax uh, that uh, connects onto there. That is. All right, so there's some new creatures out there to fear. <laughs> horrible wasp warriors yeah so anyway that's uh that's cool evan cool miniatures always uh some uh some epic miniatures so it is uh in the yeah, outline there's the the picture the our so miniature cool. version and decided for an extra pair of arms and swords instead of wings personally that's a trade i'd take too <laughs> flight sounds cool but more more swords man and uh, speaking of wasp and stuff, uh, you've got the dragon killer mushroom bake, which is uh, their recipe for this, in which you got to go and kill a uh, giant wasp. No, a giant wasp monster person thing. Uh, do not under no, do not undercut uh, they, that. They call, call them a, a they call them dragon killer wasp. That does not sound like something I should be fighting in fifth edition. Uh, it is a CR. It is a CR six. Yeah. Not, uh, so. Yeah, you don't 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 want to be fighting that anytime soon. There's a CR. Okay, they must they must get their dragon killer name because they use swarm tactics. Because there's nothing CR six that can beat a dragon. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm I would. I would definitely uh, figure it has to do with the swarm tactics. But yeah, you know, I mean it's. By the way, it's supposed to be spicy, according to the description. Oh, okay. say by they say by hell's wrath that is hot. What do you oh, still we want? like? Uh, we like spicy food. What's it? What's it got in? It's got a uh, rosemary, mushroom, diced onions, ricotta cheese, uh, tomato marinara, dried cherry pasta, um, dragon killer meat, uh, parmigiana cheese, 
olive oil, diced garlic, and dried chili flakes. I don't see anything that makes it hot. Dried chili flakes. Maybe, maybe wasp, oh, dragon killer wasp meat is potentially Oh, here it spicy. says uh, Yardbird won't have uh, the same kick, though, so add... Add one tablespoon cayenne to spice things up. There you go. Uh, yeah, you take chili flakes and cayenne, you'll add a little bit of kick. Yeah, so so basically it doesn't list the cayenne and the original ingredients because the dragon killer meat is supposed to be spicy. And then uh, Gotcha. But but for us uh, mundane bird users, we have to add cayenne. Now I want dragon killer meat. <laughs> but you make a good omelet, too. Um, and then we have our On the Open Road. Yeah, ventures on the open room. These descriptions make them sound like some pretty rough encounters. Yeah, you have a Steamford Toll. Um, each one comes with a map. Unwelcome guests and the collector. Uh, we've got yeah, unwelcome guests, which looks like more uh, more business. Um, Ooh, you're gonna like the next one. You're gonna like the next thing there. And then the collector. So. What's what's up with the collector? Why, 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 why? No, no, I'm talking about the oh, next, the next thing. thing. The you're, you're jumping ahead, man. You can't be jumping ahead. I'm the oh, meta. this is thick. Yes, that's it's why. Thick. Oh, my, that's real thick. Yeah, yeah, when you read what it is, you're going to love it. Fifth edition foes. Oh, no. It is a monster oh, no. book, a massive monster oh. book. So this is where we'll find our uh, our dragon killer bees, probably. Oh yeah, they're probably in there. So let's see. All of these um, have been retooled for uh, creatures for fifth ed, and a number of new ones. Oh my god, I just saw Dagon. That's that's no joke. Yeah. Now the reason that uh, y'all heard me tell me he's gonna like this. Oh, he brought back the Drakes. Is that? Oh, let me hold this. I mean, you really got to point yeah. that out to them how thick this is. Like this is the stuff that where I get impressed. That. Oh no! Yeah, I mean that's that's a full size. It's a full size book. book, yeah. And we usually pay thirty, forty, fifty bucks for even for the third party yeah. books. So I'm looking at this going like that's a killer to get for party description. Yeah, I mean they they, they probably cut the price a bit with uh, getting it paperback. Um, I don't know, man. I paid a lot for some paperbacks recently. <laughs> I'll be honest, dude. If uh, if I could find paperback of books, I don't. I have no problem having books that are Honestly, paperback. I have that problem. My hardbacks, the bind, the pages, yeah, the, the binding, binding gets always bad. messes up. Yeah, because you know you tend to open it. I wish my uh, current book I bought. I'm not going to call it out, but I really wish it was freaking paperback. Yeah, I mean, it's having binding issues already. Where where paperbacks don't tend to have that binding issue. Now they, I mean, they don't take as much of a beating. <laughs> but don't beat your books up, people. You know, store them. Goodness. That has that got to be at least a hundred plus critters in there, and that that to me is, is yeah, value no, for my buck. That's definitely more than a hundred creatures. It looks like there's at least one on every page. If it's one page per, then yeah, that's and be a uh, more. you're looking at two hundred and fifty something pages. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, here's your uh, monsters by type. Mm, you're right. I just like that's a good bit more. So yeah, it goes into uh, two pages of a list. So, but but I mean honestly, what I like what I like this style of stuff. Mm -hmm. I just don't run a lot of modules. So that especially when like that really caught my eye. That it's like I love encounters. Yeah. I don't do a lot of modules, but a well, book of monsters. Yeah. Is no, always I don't do awesome. a lot of modules either, which is why I actually like these one sheets because you can just sort of throw them into a pre made game. I mean a. Uh, a, a custom game. And what I like want. is several of those create um, what could be permanent locations. Like there's one uh, they had it on the road when it had an inn. Mm -hmm. That was like, oh, good. I got a free main inn with all the information I need. Yeah. And then I've been digging these cards out because I've been giving them a quest board. And so I've uh, I've started putting recipe uh, ingredients on the quest board. So. I don't know. I noticed that you did that. Uh, uh, that you had the the restaurant that was ordering the most bizarre freaking. And I said, "There's no way he's this imaginative." Like snake brain soup. I was like, "He got that off of one of our RPG K cards." No, I, actually, I actually, these yeah, these actually, cards. those were the were, were original. The ones that were on the last. Uh, I, I had not dug the cards out yet, oh, well, but uh, then get them out because I mean those things are cool. But I really yeah, want you to start using the roadside encounters. Like every time we travel, I keep hoping that you're gonna go. 
and pull out one of the roadside. But it might be with too low level. Like, I think we just finally hit third level. Yeah, I think the uh, the, the lower level um, adventure parts are still at my uh, old residence. I haven't picked uh, them up yet. so. And they still tend to swing around second level or so. Yeah. But we can start using the second levels because we only got a few people. Well, I mean, y'all are third level now, too. So yep. You should be plenty good for anything like CR6. <laughs> So anyway, that's uh, <laughs> that is our RPG crate unboxing. Let me go ahead and stick this shirt over here because I'll actually throw it in the laundry and wear it. And uh, if you like if you like what you saw, you like RPG crate, uh, check them out RPGcrate.com. They're also on Facebook and all that good stuff. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe our page and share. Tell your friends. I like good stuff. Take care.